Hey, have you been trying every shampoo, conditioner, or hair mask out there and still find no difference in your hair fall? It could be due to poor blood circulation in your scalp. You can only have great hair when the foundation is really healthy. In today's video, we'll tell you things you can do at home to get amazing hair. Should you have a cold shower? What about applying raw onion juice? Do I have to do a headstand to get a full head of hair? We're discussing all of that and more. Number 1. Scalp Massage One of the most underrated solutions for promoting hair growth is scalp massage. It stimulates blood circulation at the hair follicles and promotes the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood vessels. Once the hair follicles get more nutrients and oxygen, the metabolism is boosted. Begin by combing out your hair to detangle any knots. Go in a circular motion with your fingertips towards the center of your scalp for two to three minutes. For a deep tissue massage, you can even use the knuckles. There are many electrical scalp massages available if you feel too exhausted to do it by yourself. Finish the massage by pulling the ends away from the scalp for 60 seconds. Scalp massage can have a deeply relaxing effect, improve your mood, and increase your concentration. Ayurveda or ancient Eastern medicine also believes that massaging promotes hair growth, making it thick and strong. It can also help in draining toxins that have accumulated in the head and neck region. Number 2. Use Essential Oils Essential oils capture the natural scent, aroma, flavor, and the very essence of plants. The compounds are extracted from the leaves, seeds, bark, fruit, and flowers to prepare this oil. Lavender, tea tree, peppermint, eucalyptus, lemongrass, and orange oil are commonly available over the counter. Oxygen acts as a hair-building nutrient and is made available for your scalp by massaging with essential oils. Studies have shown that using essential oils on your scalp can be a great help in reducing hair loss. Your scalp is highly vascular and has the highest blood circulation in the body. Use them right before you wash your hair. Remember to dilute them first. For the best results, you can even leave the oil in overnight. If you're prone to acne and breakouts, avoid keeping this oil on for extended periods. Number 3. Running cold water over your scalp Seeing clumps of hair blocking your bathroom drain? Or too many hair strands on your pillow or comb? Then it's pretty clear you have severe hair fall. Dry and brittle hair also reduces hair density. If you want your hair to shine with all its glow naturally, then there is a simple yet powerful solution. Showering with cold water for one to two minutes has been used to promote good circulation for centuries. Taking a cold shower will not only give you a jolt in the morning, but it will also strengthen your tresses. Hydrotherapy has been studied to provide relief from alopecia. You can do it two to three times a week depending on how greasy your hair gets. It takes courage to step in a cold shower, especially during the winter. But don't be scared, you can alternate between 10-second intervals of warm and cold water. Turn on the hot water when you're washing your body. The cold water from the shower will enlarge all the tiny blood vessels on the scalp. Build your tolerance slowly and ease into it when you feel ready. You can take a cold stream of water to your scalp even if you have shampooed with lukewarm water. If you're not used to cold showers, do not exceed two minutes. You definitely don't want to catch a cold. Number 4. Go for comfortable loose hairstyles Is your hair always tied up in a tight bun for a high ponytail? If yes, your hair is constantly under tension. Pulling your hair for a long time can weaken the roots and can ultimately lead to breakage. A loose, relaxed hairstyle will definitely be a breather. Keeping your hair down while you sleep can entangle it more. You can tie a loose braid if your hair is long. Also, give a fair try to nightcaps made of satin or silk. Number 5. Brush your hair Your comb plays an important role in giving you natural shine and bounce. Using plastic combs can lead to more breakage of the hair. On the contrary, using a wooden comb or brush that has stiff bristles with tiny ball ends acts as a gentle massager. Detangle your hair from the ends and work your way up towards the scalp. Tugging and pulling knots will break tufts of hair. Applying light pressure slowly will stimulate the hair follicle. This will ensure more blood supply and hair growth. Be careful of the static in dry climates and choose your brush accordingly. After a wash, stick to a wide-toothed comb or tangle teaser. You need not to overbrush. Although you might have heard that 100 strokes per day can give you healthy hair, it just damages your hair cuticle. Running a comb through your hair two to three times a day is enough. 
It'll help in spreading the natural oils of the scalp through the entire length of the hair strand and keeping it soft and shiny. Don't forget to keep that brush clean. Pull out the extra hair strands or use a brush cleaner for stubborn chunks of dirt sitting at the bottom. You can also run it through soapy water so that the bacteria and gunk do not transfer onto the scalp and block the hair pores. Even if you're trying to be extra cautious about your hair, why neglect the skin? Before we go ahead, watch this video on 11 everyday things that are secretly ruining your skin and get that flawless skin you always wanted. Now, coming back to the ways that increase the blood circulation of the scalp. Number six, raw onion juice. Pinch your nose for the next remedy. Raw onions have an offensive smell. Applying raw onion juice on your scalp is an age-old method to get back the lost hair. Onions are a great source of antioxidants that help in fighting against free radicals. This ultimately reduces oxidative stress and improves blood circulation. Take one large red onion, chop it into medium-sized chunks, and blend it in a jar. Red onions contain more antioxidants and can give you more benefits than white ones. If the paste is too thick, then strain it using a cheesecloth or sieve. Make sure to make a fresh batch every time you want to apply this juice. If you're lucky, your local grocery store might also have a pre-squeezed onion juice bottle that can save you all the hassle. Start applying the juice directly to the roots. Studies have shown onion juice to regrow your hair by improving blood circulation. But if you try to apply it to the ends and the midsection, it'll be completely ineffective. Plus, you'll have more stench following you. The odor-causing sulfur compounds are in fact the same chemicals that can give you thick hair. It also helps in the production of collagen for healthy skin and hair cells. Allow the juice to sit on your scalp for 30 minutes. Occasionally massage the scalp in a circular motion. Rinse off with just plain cold water if you're planning to stay at home. In other cases, wash with a fragrant shampoo. Studies have shown that regular application for onion juice twice a day continuously for two months can actually show positive results on hair growth. Number seven, do specific neck movements. A few exercises for your neck and head can increase blood supply. Bend your head side to side and try to touch your shoulders with your ears. You can also try to make head circles in clockwise and anti-clockwise directions. Go to a range of motion until your chin touches your chest when your neck is too far behind and your head is tilted facing the sky. You can also try a few yoga poses like Cobra. Downward dog targets your neck and back. Sun salutations are also considered standard exercises to increase blood circulation throughout the body. Number eight, inversion method. It's time to try something sporty. What do you think of hanging upside down? Well, that's all you have to do for super fast hair growth. With an inversion technique, you can reset the blood flow to the scalp. You can flip your hair and hang upside down while your head lies below the heart level. Hold it for a few minutes and gently massage the scalp with your fingertips for optimal stimulation. Set a timer so that you don't go for too long. Slowly raise your head and sit up straight. If you feel dizzy, then do not attempt it further. Proponents of the inversion method claim one to two inches of hair growth per month due to rapid blood circulation. You can use the end of your bed or an inversion table if you're new to it. If you're an athletic person, you can try doing a headstand or even a handstand. Try making sure that you're following all safety measures properly. Although we need more studies to factually prove the usefulness of this method, it should not be done for an extended time. Otherwise, your scalp may fail to respond to the stimulation. This treatment is definitely not recommended if you have health conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease, ear infection, back pain, or if you're pregnant. Always talk to your doctor first. Number nine, diet. Nutritional deficiency is always reflected in hair loss. When you don't get enough proteins, carbs, and healthy fats, along with all the other micronutrients, your hair will quickly fall out. So for beautiful looking hair, you need to eat lean meat, fatty fish, whole grains, green leafy vegetables, eggs, fruits, nuts, seeds, milk, and a ton of other natural foods. They can prevent blood clots and interrupted blood flow. Review your food choices every time you get ready to eat. Fast food, chips, and sugary snacks are loaded with empty calories that have minimal nutritional value. Swap your sweet cravings with a piece of fruit and your snacks with nuts, seeds, and trail mix. If you're not sure about your nutritional intake, consult a doctor who might be able to help pick a multivitamin. Amalgamating healthy food with some form of exercise can achieve the best results. That brings us to our next remedy for great circulation. Number 10, have an active lifestyle. What's your favorite form of exercise? Do you run or do you do aerobics? How long has that gym membership not been used for? 
It's time to ditch the couch and get moving. There are so many exercises out there that you might enjoy doing. There's swimming, cycling, jumping rope, yoga, Zumba, weightlifting, Pilates. The list is endless. Pick any activity and try doing it for at least 30 minutes for five days a week. If you don't like any of these, just begin by doing mild stretches at home. It'll give a boost to that sluggish blood circulation and increase the metabolic rate of hair growth eventually. Number 11. Drink 8 glasses of water. A well-hydrated body is a powerhouse of nutrients and minerals. More water can increase the volume of the blood. A dehydrated body will have less blood reaching all the tissues and cells. So remember to have at least 8 glasses, measuring up to 250 milliliters of water every day. You can infuse it with lemon, mint, or cucumber cuts to get the most out of it and make it more flavorful. Many mobile apps remind you to keep having water regularly. Limit the intake of sugary drinks like soda, tea, and coffee. The caffeine content in them acts as a natural diuretic and will extract the fluid out of your system. Alcohol and tobacco will also have a pretty nasty effect on circulation. So it's best to keep it under one to two small drinks per day and give up on tobacco completely. Do you want to make the most of a glass of water? The secret is to add tiny nutrition-packed seeds and dry fruits. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more water-related videos, shall we? Watch Drinking Fennel Water Every Day Does This to Your Body, or click on Drink Raisin Water Daily on an empty stomach to get these benefits. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both, and learn more about how to fortify your water. Have you tried the methods we discussed for hair growth? Let us know in the comments below.